Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Uh, guys, limited time. I'm doing $15 reads. You can hit me up in the description underneath the video. All right, guys, let's get going and see what Spirit has for us today. Please like and subscribe my channel if you are enjoying it, guys. It helps me a lot. Oh, no. Okay. All right, guys. Well... I'm seeing that somebody's having a tower moment right now, okay, because of some things that were going on in the background, and it looks like this might be financial, all right, well, that's no surprise. Guys, I know this may or may not make you feel any better, but we're all going through this. We're all going through this. I know some, some are worse off than others, but guys, again, if, if you have money, only if you have enough. You don't have to comment and tell me, you know, you would if you could. I hear you. But if you can and you have money and you're set, if if your neighbor might be needing help or something, you know, a loaf of bread, a gallon of milk when you go shopping, like anything will help, okay? If they have kids, a couple boxes of cereal, um, that would be so nice. That would be just so good of you, okay? Um, all right, and I'm seeing some planning done here. Somebody's trying to plan something. They're using their intuition for this planning. All right, let's see what else. <clears throat> okay, so someone's someone has been like someone's been keeping to themselves and desperately trying to manifest and balance out their life, okay? Somebody's really, really focused. Like, they're spending all their time by themselves. Um, that, that might not be the best idea, guys. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, doing a little soul searching. Just don't stay there too long, all right? And, um, yeah, I'm seeing balancing out, though. I'm seeing that you are going to manifest whatever this is you're you're trying to manifest, okay? Um, for a lot of you, it looks like maybe you're just trying to manifest happiness, which, you know, totally understandable, okay? So you're feeling left out in the cold, some of you. You're feeling stuck. And you're really wanting to have this celebration and happiness, okay? Guys, I see the Ace of Wands coming in for you. And this is a gift from spirit. It's it's a hand just coming out from the heavens holding this um, flourishing wand, okay? Which is kind of like spirit patting you on the back saying, it's okay, it's going to be okay. Everything is going to turn out fine. It's going to be more than fine. It's going to flourish, okay? So I'm seeing stability coming in as far as money goes. Um, yeah, some of you... Some of you ended something nasty with a feminine who was a uh, sword tongue. All right. So um, a bunch of you, I think, were with this feminine that was just nasty and mean and didn't really care about your feelings. OK. Um, and this was romantic. All right. I'm seeing it ended. Good for you. I'm seeing it ended. Do not. You're this bright light. You're a child of God. Do not let anyone talk down to you or be mean to you. Let the third dimensionals be who they are and let them be with one another. But guys, you, you guys that are vibrating on fourth and fifth dimensional levels, you deserve fourth and fifth dimensional level people in your lives. Okay. And those are the people who are not operating out of with no integrity and treating people badly. Okay. This is a new set of people, guys, you're going to see coming into your life with a new cycle that are all about love. All right, guys, I'm seeing some information coming in about something that caused some of you regret and and um, defensiveness, okay? Um, you're going to be hearing something um, about, yeah, about this Whatever was going on, guys, this, oh, wow. Okay, so we talked about this yesterday, this third party, guys. You're... Some of you have found out about this third party. You're finding out the person you're with is toxic, and you're trying to move away from this very sneaky, lying, 
person and you want to get to the point where you're celebrating again and you will be all right and you know <clears throat> as far as yesterday went and this looks like the same this was a complete surprise like some of you you know this was like a whiplash you know like whoa I never would have thought ever this person would do that you know so that makes it all the more harder, guys. So it, it is causing a lot of, um, you know, upset and anxiety. But guys, there is this new love coming in for you with the new cycle. I keep talking about this. This looks like it's for everybody who's open to it and wants it. This looks like to me because it's, it's confirmation on a daily basis that if this is something you want and you want someone to come into your life on a romantic level, this is going to happen for all of you if you're open to it, okay? So again, if you're sitting home on the couch and you don't go anywhere, you know, it's not really possible for you, right? So get out there if, if, if you want this. Get out there and, <clears throat> you know, be active, do some things. All right, I'm seeing this wish fulfillment too. Is this person coming in? And yeah, you guys are also working really hard. I'm seeing your hard work is going to pay off. And I'm seeing, again, I'm seeing this lover coming in. All right, some of you are just so sick and tired of the past, the people from the past, the hurt and, you know, all the things you've been through that you're ignoring this new person. Or, or you're going to ignore this new person, guys. You're going to automatically assume this new person is a sneaky, lying <laughs> jerk. All right? But guys, you know, if you're listening to me, the new cycle is sending you someone different, okay? They're sending you someone amazing. So, you know, take some time to yourself right now and do some soul searching. They want you to rest they're showing me that a lot of you are super, super stressed to the point where there's fear. There's fear involved too. It's it's all wrapped up in one, fear and stress. And yeah, this is getting in the way of your happiness, guys, okay? This person wants to come in and give you their cup and, you know, help heal the broken heart. This person's romantic and loyal, guys. This isn't going to be like the last person. Use discernment. Use discernment. I mean, you know all the red flags. You've been through it bunches of times, right? So you'll know. Use your intuition, guys, okay? Something that ended badly and broke your heart. This is a whole different game coming in here, okay? This is this person is bringing the Ace of Pentacles. And I see a lot of you are feeling alone right now and are licking your wounds, guys. This is prosperity, okay? And it's it's a lot of money, but it's also a gift. It's new beginnings, new starts. And, you know, it's tied into the new cycle. All this is all tied together, guys, okay? This is going to make your boo-boos better, all right? Having a great deal of money to go out and spend and, you know, do some of the things you've always wanted to do is going to make you feel better, all right, it's not the answer to all. I get that. All right, but <clears throat> this is going to be your justice, this lover. And it is part of the new cycle. This person wants to come in and give to you guys, okay? And again, um, yeah, some of you, some of you are are going to get a raise. I'm picking up on this. This boss, this older masculine who is a boss figure who wants to give to you guys, all right? So that's a nice switch. Somebody really nice is going to get a raise, okay? And guys, if you have a cool boss, um, ask for a raise right now because it looks like that the timing is perfect. If you've been at your job long enough and you haven't had a raise in a while, the timing right now is perfect. Just ask nicely, all right, and be prepared, you know, if they can't do it and they say no, then it's no, all right, but you tried. Um, yeah, guys, and I'm seeing a lot of you are feeling stuck. Um, 
but but I'm seeing all the stability coming in and your person that's coming in is going to be your victory and they're going to see you as the star. They're going to put you on a pedestal. And guys, you that watch me, all you guys out there that watch me know that this card is coming up every single day, every single reading, okay? I do not go through the whole deck um, during the course of my reads, my public reads. I just try to keep it around 10 minutes, okay, and, and less. So this card, what I'm told to tell you is spirit looks at you like this, that you're the star. They look at you like you're the star. They love you and they want you to look at yourself like you are the star and they want you to treat yourself as such. Okay. They want you to do like these, these self-care techniques, self-love, anything you're doing for yourself, set your intention that you're doing it for self-love and um, to self-nurture, okay? It could be something silly, like I am making this cup of tea um, with the intention that it is going to nurture and I'm doing this because I love myself and that's it. It's going to raise your vibration, guys. It's going to make you feel lifted and it's going to help you so you'll be able to manifest. Have a great day.